a to the power of 1 over n is equal to the n root of uh, a. Okay, for example, a to the power of 1 over 3 is equal to the cube root of a, and a to the power of 1 over 4 is equal to the fourth root of a, fourth root of a. Now, how about a to the power of 2 over 3? Well, um, let's copy this here. Okay, a to the power of 2 over 3. Now, a to the power of 2 over 3 can be written as a to the power of 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, right? Okay, and, uh, and we learned that a to the power of 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is equal to a to the power of 1 over 3 times a to the power of 1 over 3. And then, uh, so this is a number uh, multiplied by itself for two times, and therefore this is a equals to 1 over 3 squared, right? Okay, now just now we learned that a to the power of 1 over 3 is equal to the cube root of a, and therefore we can write this one as um, cube roots of a, and then uh, square. Okay, so this is a square of the cube roots of a, okay, um, or we can write this as cube roots of a square, okay, both of these are the same, okay, so, uh, so we learned that a to the power of 2 over 3 is equal to uh, the cube roots of a square. From here, we can see that the denominators bec uh, become the root, eh? okay, and the numerators is the uh, power of the number or the index of the numbers. Eh? So, for example, um, a to the power of 3 over 5, eh? okay, so this is equal to the here, the denominator is 5, therefore this is the fifth root, and then uh, the numerator is 3, and therefore this is a to the power of 3, or a cubed. Another example, a to the power of 11 over 15, okay, so this will become the 15 root of a to the power of 11, okay. So we can conclude that um, a to the power of m over n is equal to the nth root of uh, a to the power of m. Okay, let's see um, this question. Okay, example, find the values of the following. 9 to the power of 3 over 2. Let's rewrite the questions here. Um, 9 to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, this is equal to the square root of 9 to the power of 3. Yeah? Okay, and um, the square root of 9, or we can write it in this way, yeah? okay, 9 to the power of 3. And uh, the square root of 9 is 3, yeah? so this becomes 3 to the power of 3, and this is equal to 27. Okay, um, B, 216 to the power of 2 over 3, okay, so this is equal to, the denominator is 3, therefore this is a cube root of 216, um, the numerator is 2, and therefore this is a square, okay, the cube root of 216 is 6, okay, you can find this easily by using your calculator, this is become 6, and then it's a square here, okay, so this is uh, 36. 36. Eh? C, um, we have a fractions here, 8 over 125, and then it's to the power of 2 over 3. Okay, so this is equal to the cube root of 8 over 125, and then square. Okay. The cube roots of 8 is 2, and the cube roots of 1 to 5 is 5. Okay, and as we square, these are fractions, and uh, 2 squared equal to 4, and 5 squared equal to 25. 
So this is the answer. Now let's continue with question D. Okay, D. We have 1 over 64 to the power of negative 2 over 3. Okay, now we have a negative fractional index. And in previous videos, we learned that if the index number is negative, then we can find the reciprocals of this number to the power of uh, this index number without the negative. Eh? Okay, and the reciprocals of 1 over 64 is 64 over 1. Eh? Okay, and then this is become 2 over 3. Eh? We remove the negative 1. To remove the negative ones, uh, we find the reciprocals of this number here. Okay, now uh, 64 over 1, we can write it as 64. Eh? 64 and then to the power of 2 over 3. Okay, now the denominator is 3. Therefore, this is the cube root of 64 and then uh, square. Okay, and the cube root of 64 is 4. 4 square and therefore this is equal to 16. Okay, last one. 125 to the power of 4 over 3. Okay, the denominator is 3. Again, this is a cube root of 125 to the power of 4. Okay, and the cube root of 125 is 5. 5 to the power of 4. And by using your calculators, you should be able to find that the answer is 625. Okay.